Hey, it's Joshua here with another edition of Mortgage Clarity. And today we're going to talk about construction loans. Just a real high level overview about what types of construction loans are they? What are some of the maybe general requirements? Like, can you do 100% financing on a construction loan or not? And then also, when does it fit or when is there a good match between uh, a borrower and construction loan? So let's just talk first about the types of construction loans. The first one is what we call like a two-step. This is where you're actually going to go through the underwriting process twice. And um, it allows you the construction loan. And then once you're mostly done with the construction loan, you'll start your takeout loan at that time. Now, most of the time, people like to go for what's called the one-time close. And this is where you're going through the underwriting process one time, but you're actually obtaining two separate loans. You're just going to do it at the same time. Now, the advantage for this, of course, of doing a one-time close is one, you're only going through the underwriting process once, which is a big savings in time and energy. You're only having to pay lender fees once, title and escrow fees once, and appraisal fees once. So there's a savings in both time, convenience, and cost if you can do the one-time close, which is what most people do. Now, the reason why somebody might do a, a, a two-step where you do the other loan completely separately might have to do with what they're trying to build or the timeline they're trying to build it. If they're trying to build it on their own, where a lot of these programs don't allow for that, that might be a reason why somebody might decide to do a standalone construction and then later go and get the uh, long-term finance. All right. So how can you use this construction loan? Well, begin, because there's two separate loans here, it's really up to the construction lender you're going to be dealing with and what they will allow. But what I want to put out in this video is just to let you know that it is possible to actually do a 100% financing construction loan if you're piggybacking that construction loan with a VA loan or with a USDA loan. It's possible to do a construction loan with only 3.5% down if you're going to piggyback that with an FHA loan. So again, it really comes down to what the lender who's going to do the construction component will allow. But if you have a lender that has no overlays, you can take your construction loan and piggyback it. And essentially what's going to happen is, again, you're getting the construction component. That lender or investor is going to fund it with having already approved you and taking out the VA loan. That VA loan in this scenario here for 100% financing doesn't actually take effect until the construction is complete. So it's not a marketable VA loan to that point. But they're, again, they're underwriting everything at one time. So again, that's a great takeaway here is uh, if you are looking for a construction loan and you want to use your VA benefit with it, you can do that. So when does construction programs work for a borrower and when does it not? Some of my clients, particularly in the market now where we don't have much inventory, uh, home values go for uh, offers go for much higher than the actual list price. Sometimes buyers will come to me with the idea that maybe construction would be a cheaper option than buying something that's already out there. And I would say for the most part, this is not true. One is you'll find it's very difficult to find lots, and that's just as competitive there as well. But with new construction, there's a lot of unknown costs and cost overruns that can come into um, to play here. So it's not just to say you can never build a house for less than what you could buy an existing house, but it's been my experience that with new construction, you're probably going to pay a little bit more for that house to build it than what you would otherwise pay if you already found it out there in the open market and were buying it. And you certainly have a lot more certainty as far as what that cost is going to be because, again, while you do get a budget, you have expectations, there's so much to building that you don't know until you get into it, starting from the foundation up. And so it is common to have cost overruns and go above and beyond that. So for that reason, I think construction loans are great for the borrower who can afford the house that they want, but they can't find it. Not so much more for the borrower who can't find a house they can afford and so they think they'll be able to, to do that cheaper. I don't really find that to be the case. The other big thing I'd say, take away just something to know about construction loans, if you're concerned this for yourself, is the timeline is much, much longer on a construction loan than it is for a uh, house that's already in place. If you happen to be working with a builder who already has permit approvals and already got plans, and essentially the builder just doesn't want to carry the cost of construction, in that case, you could be looking at closing a construction loan in like 60 days. So not too much different than a standard purchase. But in most cases for borrowers, they haven't gotten that far down the line. And so particularly if you're actually just locating the lot or haven't even found a lot yet, it can take anywhere from 60 days to over a year to complete a construction loan. 
because again, the construction loan is going to be specific to what you want to build, not just an approval to a price point. So you have to have identified the property that you're going to build it on. And based on the property you end up finding, that can have impacts to the blueprints and how you're going to actually design that build and what the contractor needs. And, you know, sloping property compared to flat property, you're going to have different costs for getting that foundation laid. So again, it's just something to keep in mind that while building your home is exciting, be prepared for a much longer process, so be patient, probably not the best loan for, again, for a person who can't find the house they can afford or a person who needs to get, get their house sold and get into another house in a very amount, quick amount of time. That may not be the best. I hope you found this helpful. Again, just a general overview. If you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe and share. And if you have any questions, drop those in the comments and we'll try to get those answered for you. All right. Have a fantastic day. Until next time.